and we see you right after the Batman video game. Only 15 minutes, so we'll be back. Take care so far. What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm Sinister One. I'm joining you here with Andy Sweet and Dexter. They are about to race Batman. And we have something on the line, ladies and gentlemen. We have this uh, wonderful t-shirt here that says, always be yourself unless you can be Batman. Then always be Batman. So after this race, one of these guys is going to be crowned Batman. We're about to find out who. Let's get a countdown going here, and we will kick this thing off. On movement. On movement, OK. So this is NES Batman, and we have uh, two of the best competitors in the world. In fact, the top two, Dexter is the world record holder with a 9.57, and Andy is not far behind him. He's got a 9.59. These are the only two guys that have sub-10 times in this game, and uh, both of them off to a strong start. So they're trying to do a very perfect opening screen here in which you can actually manipulate the global timer into giving you the drops that you need. And the drops that you need in this game are primarily weapon drops. Uh, there's three different kinds of weapons that you're going to be using. You're going to use the Batarang. That costs only one of your weapon ammo, which you can see in the upper left-hand corner. The Dirk, which costs three, and then the Gun, which costs two. So you'll see these guys using this throughout the run. And using that double Dirk there to kill that spike car enemy. So Dexter with a, a very slight lead, it looks like, at the moment. He's got a better ammo count as well. And health count is also important in this game because you do not get full health refills in between stages. You actually only get half of your health back. So these guys will have to manage resources on all fronts. They'll have to manage their health, they have to manage their weapons, so that means sometimes they might have to slow down and kill enemies that they wouldn't normally kill. And then of course you have to manage speed. You have to choose when you want to slow down and when you want to keep the pace. So Andy getting an immediate dive to take the lead. Dexter not getting the immediate dive. Both of them got the quick kill, thankfully, so still pretty close here. But little little differences like that are what's going to make the difference at the end of this race. These guys have raced this game before, and it has been very, very close. So let's see what happens here. They're into stage two. And stage two is mostly about the resource management that I mentioned earlier. Um, Andy is a little bit low on weapons, lower than he'd like to be. And in order to proceed at the fastest pace possible, you typically have to use the Dirk weapon a lot. And as I mentioned, that uses three ammo. So he may have to pick a few spots in which he kind of forgoes some weapon usage, whereas Dexter is comfortable. He's got 58. So let's hope that Andy can pick up some weapon drops here along the path. Nice movement by both of these players. The movement is pretty tight in this game. You can actually control the jump height to some degree, but it, the, the jump is its a little bit clunky, um, but it's definitely good that you can control the height because there's some tight spots that you need to fit into throughout the game. So Endy is actually hit-stunning these enemies on the way up, and so is Dexter. You can actually pass through an enemy when they're stunned by one of your weapons. So that's we call that hitboxing, and you'll see that a lot. And both players with the same amount of health, they are going to have to start taking intentional damage throughout the run, mainly in the boss fights. It's pretty much unavoidable. So we've got a neck and neck race. Dexter had a slightly better stage there, so he was able to take a very, very small lead. But what's more compelling is the ammo situation. Andy is really still hunting for that ammo, and he gets a double ammo drop. That's really great for him. Dexter, meanwhile, still maintaining a good solid ammo count as well. And both of these guys are heading into the end portion of this stage. There's a long jump you can do right here. Dexter did not get it, neither did Andy. They may have just been uh, taking it a little safe there. It's like a pixel-perfect jump, saves a little bit of time. So we're going to see some hitboxing here from both of our players, and then you got to take out the rest of these enemies, hopefully get some ammo. <laughs> Andy getting some ammo, but losing some health, and there's another ammo drop. So Andy is going to have low health coming out of the stage, but he at least did get the ammo drops, which I think is actually uh, more important. 
So Dexter on his way to the fight. This is a three-part fight. Dexter handling it very well. He's got enough health. He's going to get a full health refill. Endy has one health less, so he's only going to get seven health. And we are headed into the dreaded stage three. And you can see why it's dreaded right away. Dexter taking some damage from the jumper. And these guys can be manipulated, but it's a little bit tricky, and they operate on a global timer. So these guys have played the game so much, they actually know where they are in the global timer. So they can kind of adjust for how these jumpers are going to act. And you can see they despawn that one. Both of them get the despawn, which is very nice. Uh, Dexter's going to kill one and be able to pass through. So he's gaining a little bit of ground here. He is slowly making his way back after a bit of a rough stage two. All right, so we're going to see some more jumpers here down in the sewers. There's going to be a group of two of them, which are a little bit difficult to pass through. Dexter's up first, and he is in a bit of a troublesome spot. He manages to get his way out. Really nice movement there by Dexter, and he passed right through, so he is now just right on Dexter's heels. This race is getting closer and closer. We have a $100 donation by Anonymous Saint. Thank you, TMR, for the amazing run, and good luck to Dexter and Andy on the Batman run. Okay, so we can see that Andy has recovered. He actually has a higher health total than Dexter, and it's going to be critical that both of these guys manage to get out of this stage with full health, because Act 4, you have to take a lot of intentional damage, so if you have anything less than 8, eight health, you're putting yourself in a really dangerous spot. Uh, so both of these guys are going to be climbing up here. Let's see if they go for the cog skips. Dexter is going for it. He manages to get the first one. Endy also getting the first one. These are very precise jumps in order to avoid the cogs, which will deal you damage. Dexter and Endy both getting the second cog skip. Great job by both of our runners. Health and ammo situations are reasonable. They're going to have to take some intentional damage on this boss. Uh, there is a quick kill that can happen. Let's see if either of our players can get it. Dexter kind of off to a little bit of a shaky start there. Dexter having some issues with his weapon switching. Endy, on the other hand, gets a kill, so he's going to come back with seven. Dexter clutching it out and finishing the boss off. Both of these guys are not in the greatest situations now, so let's see what the jumpers have to say about this. Endy getting a bad pattern there. Dexter getting a better pattern, and he's actually going to take the lead, but both of them are on low health now, so this is getting really dangerous for our runners. They're going to have to kill some extra enemies there. And he getting a double heart drop. That is so key for him. And double ammo. Andy is really getting some nice drops here. He is able to finish through the stage. Dexter is also through. They're both kind of sweating it here. This is not a good situation. You want to have a lot more health going into this area and more weapons, quite frankly. Both of these guys probably feeling a little bit uncomfortable, but they're both playing extremely well right now. Dexter maintaining that slight lead, and he's got the ammo lead, which is actually pretty important. You do need a certain amount of ammo to finish the game, and it's not guaranteed. You can actually get to the end and not have enough ammo to finish. It's rare to happen, but uh, it can happen. It's happened to both of these guys. They know all too well. And a nice weapon drop there. That was much needed for Andy. They're heading into one of the hardest stages next. They are probably going to have to skip taking some of the damage that you would normally take in this stage. It's just their health is too low, and you have to take damage on the boss as well. So Dexter there taking it safe, Endy taking it safe. Both of them wisely choosing to avoid the damage. And they are coming up to one of the notorious tricks in the game. This is called the uh, Diggler, if they go for it. Dexter getting a heart, that is really important. So Dexter is going to skip it. Endy looks like he's going for it. We could have a lead change right now. Okay, Andy actually takes it safe and uses a double dirk as well, but they are really close right now. It just frames apart. Okay, so they are coming up to the climb here, and Andy has taken a slight lead as Dexter took some unintentional damage and got frozen for a moment there. But Andy's still hurting a little bit on weapons, and he avoided that drop. He was trying to be fast, so he went right by that weapon drop, and he is going to take a safety strat here, which allows him to go through that area without taking oh. damage, but he is down to 13 ammo. This is looking critical right now. He's going to need a drop from one of these two enemies. Didn't get it. Dexter, with 50 ammo, is safe, but the cubes can determine a lot, so both of them are going to go for a quick kill. This is risky stuff. Okay. And Andy is down to one health, but he can still finish this fight. And Dexter's done. 
and he manages to finish, clutching it out. So Dexter taking a good lead now into the final stage, but anything can happen in this final stage. It's really dangerous. This is a climb up the clock tower, and then you have two boss fights at the end. You're going to have Firebug and Joker, and Endy is really in need of some weapon drops, and he does get one, but I think he's going to need at least one more here. He gets some hearts, which aren't quite as important. Needs that ammo. And he's not getting it. <sighs> really, really frustrating stuff for Andy right now. But he's going to have a few more enemies to kill on the way up. And he really does need that drop now, guys. Dexter, meanwhile, cruising through. He's having himself a good climb so far. He needs to maintain... And the key is going to be that first fight against Firebug. You can actually get him in what's called the magical position, which is a small window, maybe one or two pixels, in which you can just continuously hit him with Batarangs, and he will just kind of jump back oh, and forth. Man. And there's the weapon drop, and he has to skip it because he knows he's behind. So he's got 24. That may be just enough. He gets a final weapon drop. Thank goodness. They both have just enough to be able to defeat Firebug here. Dexter with the slight, slight lead. Gets the magical position. Andy's got the magical position. This is going to come down to the Joker, ladies and gentlemen. We are less than a second apart. Let's go. Now, there is a glitch that these guys can go for, which will save some time. The Joker glitch saves about three seconds. Dexter is done first. And... Whoa! Oh my goodness! I can't even tell. That might be a tie, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna need a frame count. This is insane. Wow! I think I think Andy might have it by just a couple frames. I think Andy won by frames. Let's see the cutscene. And Andy <laughs> takes it by frames. Wow! <laughs> he is absolutely Batman, and he is certainly. Earn this shirt, man. You are Batman, sir. Congratulations. <laughs> that was just that an was. absolutely <laughs> amazing race. You know, I got, I got to tell you guys, these guys had a race. I think it finished about two seconds apart at AGDQ, and it's like, well, how do you top that? That's how, everybody. <laughs> Let's give it up for these guys. Andy Sweet and Dexter. Great job. Oh, man. Wow, thank you everyone for watching. I'm speechless. Uh, this was the, I mean, I never thought we would be able to top the AGDQ race. That was like one and a half second apart, and now, oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. This one is a little late, but we have a $50 donation by RoboSpark. Saying good luck to both Dexter and Andy from the, uh, from one Batman to two others. You guys really earned your cows over the years. Whoever wins the race can decide where this donation goes. And I think this is Andy.